My name is Indy and today I'm from a different angle. Today I'm going to be doing my second edition of my book wish list of all the books that I really want to buy soon and that I hope that I will buy soon. Maybe, I don't know, books that I want basically though in this summarized video. For the first books that I want to buy, I want to buy the Throne of Glass series because that is literally like my favorite book series now and I want them and I want to get them in the hardcover because they're so beautiful but I can't really find the hardcover um, of the glass with the new cover without being a library binding on book depository so I'm gonna have to try and figure out some other plan here but I really want to buy them and I'm hoping that the parents and the family will chip in some money to buy me one of the books each for Christmas so that one's a bit of a long wish list sort of off there but I really really want to get those books really soon but Christmas probably is the best plan of attack. You may remember some of these from my last edition because I still haven't bought them yet but some of them are on my list today for ones that I really want to buy so let's hope I get them this time around. If not, you might see them on the next edition. Let's hope not. Let's, re let's really hope not. The next three books are by Victoria Schwab slash V.E. Schwab and of course I still want to get the Archive series by her, The Archive and The Unbound. I don't know if there's actually a third one out or if there is a third one coming out, but if so, that one too. And then I also really want to get A Darker Shade of Magic because it sounds amazing. You all know that I really like time traveling sorts of things and that one is set in going around alternate Londons and stuff so I'm like mate mate that just that suits me so well if you remember I read a thousand pieces of you and that book was life so I definitely am really excited to get that one these next couple of books I'm gonna be talking about you'll recognize from my last one because I still kind of want to buy them so along with the archive series I really still want to buy 172 hours on the moon by Jonan Hustard because I still really want it and it's so expensive but I want it, I want it. And also still waiting to get the sequels to the first Clockwork Angel graphic novel. So I'm gonna get Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. So definitely on the list again to get. And lastly, the Ink and Rain books. I do have Ink on Kindle, which I did read in January this year. And it was like okay, but I kind of think I want to carry on with the series. I think there's Rain that's out and Storm came out this year, I think in June sometime. So I definitely probably want to finish that series. I don't know if I'm actually going to buy the proper books though. I, I gotta decide yet, yeah, but they're just so pretty and they have such a nice texture to them. I kind of really want them, so real iffy on that one, but... I've, it's on the list anyway. Another classic from the other list is The Book of Forsaken by Yanis Karatosaurus. I still want that book. It's really expensive as well. It's like $22 for the paperback, so I'm like... This is all coming from Book Depository. They're not sponsoring the studio or anything. That's just generally where I buy my books from because Barnes has expensive shipping and Booktopia is so damn unreliable. Thank you, Australia, for being annoying. So that's where I'm getting most of them and the number of times I have lost my list on there because when my computer starts to shut down or the internet closes, my list just doesn't stay in my basket where I put them all. So the number of times I've lost it. So now I just like take a picture. Every time I like, add a book, I'm like, take a picture of the basket so I like, do not lose it because it's so painful. I just like remember here and there, here a book. I'm like, that's right, that was on my list and I have to go and add it again. So rage all the time. The next book I want to get is actually a graphic novel and it's Deadly Class Volume 1. I heard Jesse the Reader talking about it and it sounds amazing. I really want to get into some more graphic novel type things. They're not my favourite sort of thing but they're just interesting for a different thing and I feel like they're kind of easy to read and like a quick sort of read so I really want to get into a bit more of that sort of manga, graphic novel sort of thing. So that's another sort of random one that's just on the list there that I want to get at some point. And along with those are two cheapy little books that I want to buy and that is Famous in Love, which is a story about a actress girl who gets a role on a TV show from her favourite book, book adaptation, and it's got a love triangle in it. 
and just these two hot guys that cut cast for the love triangle and there's like a legit like sort of love triangle problem in real life as well as on the screen so it sounds like a little fun just a good old fun read I like those sorts of ones sometimes they just not take them too seriously and they're just fun for something different and the other cheap one is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury it's an old book but it sounds really cool the whole um, about burning books and I don't know a certain genre that is there and so I don't know it sounds interesting and it's it sounds like a different sort of read so I'm really into that and I hopefully I can buy these ones real soon if not I might just buy them on Kindle because I'm the worst the last thing I'm looking at is the special edition Harry Potter box set I know I have my own ones here but they're sort of the family ones and my sister and I's ones so I'm assuming one of us is gonna have to buy a new set at some point so I've just got that on the wish list as sort of like a just just keep it there. It's quite expensive, but they're really beautiful. They're the ones that make the Hogwarts castle. And they're really nice. So I'm keeping that one in mind for whenever I need to buy them when one of us moves out or something happens. So that one is just there for all eternity, basically. Hey, so I've added a lot of books since I did this last. I'm sorry, I keep looking up because um, I'm using my new camera, which if you go check out my Instagram, Taps Life and Books, you'll see pictures of my new camera that I bought yesterday, and it's got like a selfie screen, and it's just the best thing ever, and I love it. So I stay tuned for more videos using this camera. I just wanted to say though, I filmed this video about a week ago, and since then I've added a considerable amount more books to the list. So I just wanted to tell you what they were real quick. So you know that I have more of a list now. The first I have Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. Fables it was by Bill Willingham. And they had um, The Marvels by Brian Selznick. Hopeless and Maybe Someday by Queen Colleen Hoover because I love her. And I really want some more of her books because they were sort of like New Adulty as well, like Ugly Love, and that book just made my life. I definitely want some more Queen Colleen. And lastly, I want to get In Real Life by Cory Doctorow. So I just want to show you that I had some more books to add to the list, so now it's bloody enormous. So anyway, back to me at the time of the videoing. Thank you so much for watching my quick little book wish list edition 2. Uh, of the books that I want to buy. Um, if you have any of these books or you've read them or you want to buy them too, comment down below about that. And that's about it for now. I don't have anything else to say and I will see you in my next video. Bye! wish list edition I talked about some books that I wanted and I'm going to show you the ones that I actually have bought from that um, I recall talking about the study series by Maria V Schneider so I now have the first three books and in March this year the fourth one shadow study came out so I haven't read them yet so I haven't gone to buy that one Last time I talked about having the fifth wave and I wanted to get the infinite seas so I also do have that one still haven't read the series but I hopefully will before the movie comes out maybe probably not good book that I talked about was Winter Girls by Laurie Hulse Anderson and I did get this one when I was in America in my Barnes and Noble haul. You will see this one. I also talked about getting the beautiful hardcover looking pretty things of the Across the Universe series. So I do have the first one. I don't have A Million Suns, the second book, because I can't get it in this nice one because this is nice. And then I got Shades of Earth, the third one. The books I did talk about was the Clockwork Scarab series by Colleen Gleason, so I also do have these. The third one is out sometime this year, so I haven't bought that because, as per usual, haven't read these ones yet. So, but they're stunning. So pretty. And they look smaller than I thought, but stunning, 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 stunning. And the last book that I have acquired from my last list is The Silence of Six. It's actually on my Kindle, and I haven't read it either. Are we surprised? Nay, we are not.